Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It's Monday. We need to take a look at the market for our usual uh, market outlook video that goes up on Mondays. And this week, we are in the middle of a promo, Team of the Knockout Stage promo. You guys know about this. We know what's going on right now. There's weekly objectives that people are going after, the Jao Felix, the Jordan Henderson, and the Wasp. Um, I would say the Jao Felix and the Wasp cards are worth it. If, if you play Rivals during the week, during the, the week, you're going to end up getting the Wasp card at some point. And then if you go out and spend a little bit of time uh, getting the Jao Felix, I think it's worth it. Scoring five separate squad battles wins using a Portugal player. So that's pretty easy. Even this King's Day kit as well. This is one of the coolest kits I think I've ever seen uh, in FIFA Ultimate Team. That's a pretty sick kit. All you have to do is score five golds. Uh, using a Dutch player in any game mode. So those are the objectives that we have to go through the week. If you haven't done any of those yet, I think a couple of those are worth it. If you're a Liverpool fan, you could grind out the Henderson, uh, but that card doesn't just doesn't seem to end game to me. Uh, but other than that, we're going to get some more SBCs. Obviously, we have some Man of the Match items that are in packs right now. There's a, there's a decent amount of stuff in packs, and they're really trying to get people to open up their saved packs, which I, I think they did. A lot of people did that this weekend um, because of some of the prices that you've seen for some of these cards um, has just been crazy. We'll talk about those here in a second. Um, but SBC-wise this week, uh, they told us earlier that we were going to get four of these cards from SBC. Four of the Team of the Knockout Stage cards will come from SBC. We've only gotten one so far, so we're going to get three more in the next five days this week between Monday and Friday when the promo does end. So we will get some of those SBCs this week, um, and that's why I really like looking at the cheapest players by rating right now on the foot market. Um, we'll refresh the page to get the most accurate reading of what's going on. Currently, it is just after Squad Battle Rewards, about an hour and a half afterwards, and you can see that a lot of these cards' prices have dipped down a lot. And um, this is something that I kind of find interesting. They've almost dipped down to their normal level uh, that they were before all these Icon SPCs came out. You know, the 86 has got down to like 16K. You see a lot of them between 17 and 18 right now. Um, if you're a gold investor, now is the time. Stock your club, or if you're like somebody who goes totally unassigned on all this stuff, uh, you're looking at a great opportunity to do that with a lot of SBCs coming up, two of them in particular within the next week, um, Young Player of the Year and Player of the Year SBCs that I think we will see at the end of this week, at the beginning of next week. Um, and we'll be talking about more about that here in a second as well. Uh, but these cards are great. I'm, I loaded up on the 85s tonight. I loaded up on some of the 86s at like 17k. Um, I think those are pretty cheap. I'd still like to see the 87s, the 88s, and the 89s drop a little bit more. I think they could go down a couple more k. You know, 87s. I like to see them. You know, 22, 23 thousand coins, and the 88s closer to 30. And that's just my personal opinion on those. Hopefully we can get those down there a little bit more. But the 86s and the 85s, and then probably some of the 84s as well. Yeah, Ilar Amendi there at 3K, that's a decent buy for an 84 rated card. Then obviously your 83s um, are pretty cheap as well. But with a full set of SBCs coming this week with uh, three more of the team and knockout stage players, um, and then you know what other, S other SBCs they could come out with, maybe they throw in a flashback, a flashback player. Um, or something like that is also a possibility um, along with the player of the year SBCs at the end um, of the week. So that's kind of all the content that I, I, I want to say that I'm planning on seeing. That's all the content that I think we will see this week um, regarding this team and knockout stage stuff. Um, I really think EA, they did a great job um, by making uh, a great opportunity for people to continue to complete um, icon SBCs. I think that's what a lot of people did this weekend. If you look at what happened on the market, you saw a lot of these team in the knockout stage cards. They dropped in price. They got very low. They got very cheap. You know, people aren't really going out to try these cards. Um, but what they're doing is they're going out and doing icon SBCs. Um, and since we got a supply of gold cards on the market, I think you're going to see another chunk of people going out to do icon SBCs. Um, wow, that's cheap. That is very cheap. Uh, I think you're seeing a lot of people going out and doing SPCs just because of the fact that um, they 
have coins now from the lightning rounds, from opening up saved packs at the the very beginning of this promo on Friday. We saw a lot of that, um, and that's why I think you're seeing a lot of these cheaper prices right now on the gold players. Um, but I don't think that's going to be sustained. I think they're going to go up through this week. We're going to get a lot of SBCs. People do have coins now, um, and people will probably go out and continue to complete Icon SBCs um, since those gold player prices are low. We can take a look at them here again. Um, and a few of these cards, if we're looking ahead to Young Player of the Year, I'm going to do a separate video on this. It's going to come out in a couple days. Um, but there are going to be a lot of these cards that are right now, you're going to want to get on them early. Guys like Otamendi down here, you know, you're thinking of the, the top players that could win Player of the Year. You're looking at Sterling, you're looking at Van Dyke. Um, you're looking at Hazard and you're looking at Aguero. Those are kind of like the top guys. I think Sterling has Young Player of the Year wrapped up. I honestly think Van Dyke has Player of the Year wrapped up. Um, so we'll kind of keep an eye on that. Uh, but that stuff's going to be coming out l later this week. But now might be some of the buy time for those cards, you know, getting in on some of the higher rateds. Uh, I, I looked, did a quick look at the SBCs from last year. And you needed some high rated cards, obviously Premier League stuff. It's like a player of the month SBC on steroids. Um, and a lot of people are going to do this SBC. A lot of people did it last year, uh, and they're just fantastic cards they're going to put out. It's like the beginning of team of the season, basically, is what these player of the year SBCs uh, and award SBCs um, are like. So I'm still over here bidding on this Vinicius, as you saw me doing in the background before. Um, and this is also a great time to say that just a ton of cards have dropped in price this weekend um, across the board. I mean, I think people are really realizing that, hey, maybe this is team of the season prep time. Um, you know, maybe they're going into some type of team of the season prep mode. If we go back here to Footbin, you look at the Carnival players. Um, Bonucci is down. Muller is down because of the center forward Cruz that came out. Gabriel Jesus is down a lot. Um, Icardi is down. A lot of these cards are down. And then also, you go down here to other Team of the Weeks and other, other special um, promo teams that we have had so far. The Headliners, down a good bit. Obviously, Royce is inflated. He probably will get an inform this week. Same thing with Alexandro. Um, but these cards have been really big-time movers. Rashford at 629k. That's pretty low. Um, but a lot of these cards, Lala at 220, that's, that's really low. Um, and even the uh, future stars are also getting down there pretty, pretty low. Um, for just for some of these cards, Havertz almost at 400,000 coins. This Vin Vinicius Jr. that I'm looking at right now, he is very cheap. Um, and, you know, a lot of these cards have dipped down in price. It almost just seems like maybe because the golds got cheap this weekend and people got more coins, maybe they went on to the game, they did icons, or uh, they did SBCs, or, you know, Maybe uh, they're just getting liquid for team of the season. That's kind of the, what I feel like could be going on in the market right now. People are just seem kind of scared to buy, and that's why a lot of these knockout stage cards are just ridiculously cheap in price. And I do have a few of them. I have invested in a few of them. Uh, Sun is one of those cards that I have invested in. 550k he dropped to today. 549 is one right there. I'm gonna have to pick up this 545. Oh, don't do that to me. What about the 549? Is that one still there? Yes, it is. All right, I think I have three now. Either three or four Suns um, because his headliner, which is his second, this is his second highest rated card. And his headliner right now is like 990,000 coins. So I do think that we could see a bit of a rise on some of these cards. You know, a lot of the packs, a lot of the supply for these knockout stage cards is kind of done um, for the rest of this week. Maybe we get an SBC or two that are putting out, you know, those SBCs. I let that Vinicius go to way too cheap, didn't I? I probably did. Um, but he is very low, so there's a lot of selling going on right now. Um, but again, supply for these Team of the Knockout stage cards, I think for the rest of the week, any SBCs that we will get for those cards that will come out from SBC, any pack reward from that, and these Team of the Tournament Challenge players are going to be most of your supply for the rest of the week until Weekend League rewards. So I wouldn't be surprised because a lot of them are still pretty rare. I wouldn't be surprised if we had a little bit of a rise heading into the week. Maybe people realize, investors are realizing, hey, these cards are just very cheap right now. Uh, that maybe I'm going to go invest in them because I think they're going to rise, which is kind of what I'm doing right now, actually. Or people are just saying like, 
this is really, really cheap. You know, I saw Ronaldo go on bid today for 3.59 million coins. The Raheem Sterling was at 450k. He still is 450k. Uh, the Firmino dropped like 50,000 coins today. A lot of these cards dropped with the squad battles, rewards, supply. He's down to 300k. And I've honestly been picking up a few of them because some of them have just dropped disgracefully low. This Willian was under 120,000 coins. Now, it is a big risk because um, people, obviously, as I mentioned in yesterday's video, a lot of these cards already have previous special versions, um, which is kind of, you know, ruining the hype. It's not making these cards as hyped uh, just because they're not really new cards that people are going and trying out, except for some of the Ajax players that got in. Um, it got into this team, but most of these cards already have special items, so the, the hype just really isn't there for a lot of them to just go and try a few of these cards out. But, you know, left wing or left back in the Premier League, Kolasinac, I like this card a lot. Um, if you can get him under 30,000 coins, I think that's a pretty good deal. Um, he doesn't have the pace, but what he does is he allows you to complete a triangle with the SBC Mkhitaryan at center mid, um, him at left back, and then a Socrates team of the group stage or ones to watch card at center back as well. So that kind of completes a triangle if you're playing a Mkhitaryan at left uh, or at center mid. With that card has been, I've seen people use that card a lot because Arsenal continues to advance in the Europa League. That uh, The Mkhitaryan card got upgraded again. Uh, so there's a lot of people that are using that card. I think that you're going to see that uh, Kolasinac come in handy um, as a riser out of packs. Even though he's lower rated, uh, it's a left back in the Premier League, and I do kind of like that opportunity for him to possibly rise out of packs. Same thing with I like uh, that I like about Hugo Lloris, a Premier League French goalkeeper um, in the game. So I've been talking about a lot of market stuff this week or uh, this video. And not really talking about the, the outlook for the week. I need to get focused back on that uh, to recap things for this week. So again, for this week, the gold cards right now are pretty low. If you're seeing this video right now, it's Monday. You, you go to the cheapest buy rating page on Footbin, and you're seeing that these cards are still, you know, 17 to 18,000 coins for the 86s. And the 85s are still, uh, the good linking 85s are under uh, 10,000 coins. I would say this is a great time to do a club stock. Uh, go out, pick one of them up, store it in your club. If you want to go all in on some investments like on an Ederson or an Otamendi that are going to be possibly used for player of the year SBCs, um, that is a decent shout as well. I'll probably release a video tomorrow talking about the player of the year SBCs and what you can kind of expect from those. We'll look at last year's and all that kind of stuff for some more detailed investing opportunities on those. Um, but again, I think it's a good time to club stock with the, the supply that's going on right now and um, you know, kind of just use your best judgment this week as we get a few more SBCs um, similar to this Delict. I think we'll probably get one today on Monday just so they can they can space them out throughout the week. I would, do, I would imagine we get another one. So check out who it's going to be today. There could be some good uh, investments for that uh, SBC as well, depending on who that card is and how expensive they make the SBC. But that's going to be kind of this week, team of the knockout stage stuff. Um, we don't have to worry about icon SBCs coming out anymore because they said that those are done. And then obviously the team that is in packs right now, um, along with the weekly objective. So that's kind of our week. It's just the team of the knockout stage. And there's going to be a lot of buildup into the player of the year. That's going to be an SBC that a lot of people have been talking about investing in. And I think that's going to really gain some traction um, this week as well. So keep your eyes out for that one. Um, but again, it should be a chill week on the market. You know, we might see some more panic selling heading into the team of the season time frame, which we are getting closer to. But hopefully the packs and the supply this week and the lightning rounds put some coins onto the game and allowed people to maybe get some more coins and um, possibly go out and spend some of those coins on either these new cards um, or you know just stuff inside the game that could uh, you know make our investments bang a little bit. You know what I'm saying? All right, boys, if you enjoyed it, smash a thumbs up. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.